Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Bruce Schwartz. I'm from Montreal, Quebec. I study in ufology and, and astronomy. These are some spectacular close-ups of the moon just from a couple days ago, two days ago. Yesterday there were a lot of clouds, but don't worry. I got some amazing shots, some incredible close-ups. We're going to go back to Aristarchus. When we have the chance to see them close, well, we jump on the chance at seeing them close. The moon, whether it's at its apogee or perigee, depending on how far or close it is to Earth, we get some really spectacular shots. Here's the moon upside down. We can see Tycho on the complete top there. So enjoy the close-ups. I also got the sun today. The sun is very aggressive. Here's Mare, um, sorry, yes, Mare Fecunditatis, um, Mare Chrissium over to the left, but right in the center, that's where I'm getting all those UFOs that are leaving the surface. We see a lot of constructed, what looks like constructed objects, so it could very well be that maybe someone is really on the moon. I'm past that point right now. Look at the circle over to the right. There's a crater there, a circle, grid lines, 90 degree angles. That's where the Apollo 11 supposedly landed. You see lots of structuring and lines in the center there. Thanks for watching, everyone. So the moon, and then we head over to uh, a little, um, a little couple of clips of today's sun. And by the way, the sun is looking sick again, very aggressive. You'll see in the center, the sunspots are about to um, cross over each other. And when that happens, we can get a corona mass ejection, you know, solar storms. So in the next 24 hours, she's definitely going to tell us what she's going to do. Thanks so much um, also for watching the last video. We're going to get in a lot closer to Clavius. Sorry, yeah, right beside Clavius is, of course, beside Tycho. You'll see Clavius too. Even though it doesn't look like it's very elevated, uh, the, the, the more full, sorry, the moon is, the less the objects are elevated on the surface. And what I wanted to let you know is that if you saw the last video if you didn't go now you'll see a towering object near um aristarchus crater and we're going to see it again even closer and yeah it's definitely something towering off the surface the shadow aligned right beside it
Boo-boo-doo. Boo-boo-doo. Yep. Copernicus Crater. You liking the close-ups? Nice, clear view of the moon. It's also fun to look at the moon's beauty. Not only it's UFOs, but I'm into the UFOs. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. Listen, it's the biggest secret out there, guys. I'm on the edge of my seat. They're talking about it. There's that towering object near Aristarchus Crater. Look at that. And we're going to see it even closer. We're going to get in even closer. And then we'll head over to the sun for today's aggressive sun. For those who don't know a lot about the sun, well, the sun is partly, in theory, the reason why all this weather is changing on our planet. Maybe some things happened out in the solar system or outside of our solar system that they don't necessarily want to bring up. They have, talking about Sagittarius A in the Milky Way now, designated a star, now a black hole. Supposedly two black holes collided, two neutron stars a couple of years ago. Is this affecting the way the solar system is uh, rotating and the magnetism? I would say 100% for sure. Cause disclosure's coming soon 